Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have Saurav here with us who has been recently placed at Nutanix as a part of his campus placements at VIT. So Nutanix is also a super dream company in VIT and we will be talking to Saurav now and understanding his interview experience. But before we talk to him, let's look at the eligibility criteria for this company. So all students from the CSC and IT branches were eligible provided they had a CGPA of 6 or 60% in 10th and 12th and an 8 or 80% in the pursuing degree with no standing arrears. Now let's go ahead and talk to Saurav. Hi Saurav, firstly welcome to my channel. Hi Vishnu, thank you for having me here. Yeah, so would you like to introduce yourself first? Uh, okay, so hi Vishnu and hi everyone watching this video. I'm Saurav Sharma. I, I am pursuing my computer science and engineering um, in fourth year from VIT Valor. And I have currently uh, bagged an offer from Mutanix uh, in the SRE system reliability engineer role. And currently I'm having a six month internship uh, in Mutanix Bangalore. I have worked on uh, technologies like React, um, uh, Node.js and Mernstack. Um, mm -hmm. This being the academic side, um, on the other side, I, I like to explore um, playing games like cricket, football, and also watching sports like football. Okay, okay, that's really great. Thank you for the introduction. You cannot tell us about the hiring process, like how many rounds were there and what they comprised of. So, um, initial round uh, for which I guess around, uh, okay, so for the eligibility, uh, I guess uh, students from uh, computer science uh, mm -hmm. and uh, specializations were allowed. So I guess um, the CGP cutoff was around um, 8 and um, I guess there were around 3000 people or 2500 people applying for the selection process. Okay. So out of that I guess um, for the first round through resume shortlisting the ATS system they had shortlisted around 1300 out of that. Okay. So from the 1300 people they had shortlisted around 150 for the interviews. Hmm. Um, so after that there were 4 rounds of interviews. So um, from those 150 students, six were shortlisted for the final um, kind of, for the final internship. Okay. So how many? What were the rounds that were there? Like, uh, can you tell us more about the rounds that were there? Or so um, I guess it varied for um, um, uh, for everyone because one of my friends he had three rounds, but I had four rounds. Okay. So the first round basically was um, all about networking and OS. Okay. So uh, my interview should discuss uh, all about um, operating systems, then you know round robin scheduling, and then different types of operating systems. You know kernel, yeah. in depth of operating systems, and then network. Okay. So which kind of uh, infrastructure will you use in what network? So that was basics of um, networking and operating systems. Okay. For a second round, we had um, technical only, but uh, it was basically applications of what you have learned. Okay. So. Um, uh, not basically how much you know how much you have learned but how, how much you were able to apply okay so he asked me to build my own private cloud and stuff so how much do i relate of what i have learned okay so it was around for one one and a half hours okay uh, and all uh, all of this was you know um, offline uh, interviews so oh, we, were okay. on there, we were on campus while these interviews okay so yeah that was about the second round and the third round would i would say was a mixture of um, an hr and a technical round because okay. the first half consisted of knowing about me about what I like, what are my other interests other than, you know, coding and uh, development. Hmm. So, um, and the second half was um, about investments, how do we like, um, you know, invest money and stuff and basic discussions about my personality, where do I see myself in five years and stuff. Okay, okay. So, the final round was fourth round, which was the director round, um, uh, basically in which they were purely behavioral questions like, how do I adjust myself uh, to stress and then how do I deal with pressure situations. Um, and then basically knowing about me, my family background and stuff. Hmm. Okay. So this was, I would say, the toughest round out of all. Okay, okay. So after the four rounds, you just got the list? Yeah. Okay, so that but for the good. others who did not have the, who had only three rounds, which of which of the round was skipped or? I guess um, the third round was skipped. Okay. The HR plus technical round because hmm. I guess um, they, they wanted to know more about me after the second round. Okay. So they took my third round as well. Okay, okay. Okay, that's really cool. Thank you again for sharing your experience and congratulations again. So do you have any suggestions for people who want to get into good companies or do you have anything to say from your experience? So uh, not uh, it's not only for everyone studying in VIT but for everyone. Try to maintain a CGPA from the first semester itself. Um, from the first semester till the eighth semester, focus on your CGPA hmm. while also working on extracurriculars like joint clubs and chapters, hmm. like uh, work on projects.
projects hmm. i would say to learn coding from youtube you can uh, join different platforms like hacker rank um, then lead code i used to do lead code and geeks for geeks okay so have strong hold on data structure and algorithms hmm. uh, and by fourth year i guess you'll be fine and do do don't regret your college life after fourth year of not not having fun so definitely it should be 50 50 like 50 50 um 50% of studying and 50% of extra curriculars right. and um, one thing which i think i missed on would is to like focus on, like also participate in hackathons mm-hmm. because you get a lot of experience by while working on projects right. and i would also suggest uh, everyone to you know solve uh, lead code problems and code forces problem daily and work on different projects to get hands on experience because if we have some good projects on a resume you will be able to talk about them right and again the general tips like you know uh, learn os dbms oops properly hmm. and stuff which i guess every other youtube channel talks about so hmm. nothing extra okay that's really great thank you again for sharing your experience and for the suggestions yeah thank you thank you jishnu